And this has to be our mindset. The guy at first base, our number one goal is we got to get an out. Okay, get the first out before you can get the second out. All right. So when once that's taken care of, then we worry about the second half. It's like when you feel the ground ball, we get so antsy to get the throw on its way that we don't execute fielding the ground ball. So that's why your eyes have to stay there and watch the ball in the glove and we'll actually watch that transition happen. This little arc right here, if I'm at second base, I can flip-flop it as we do the shortstop side. This is what I give you. Here's my target, whether it's coming from short, whether it's coming from third. You throw the ball anywhere, make it bounce right here, make it bounce right here, throw it eight feet high, throw it over here, throw it over there, and I'm gonna get you an out. Okay? So we want the good throws, no doubt about it. But what I'm gonna guarantee you guys, when we're playing over here, and this has gotta be your mindset, you make a throw that's not very good, we're gonna help you out. Okay, we're gonna get the out. Now you give me something I can work with, we might get the second half. So when we get to this position right here, don't be, what we wanna to try to do is have that rhythm, that flow. Okay, we wanna to react to the ball right as it's coming out of contact. We wanna recognize arm angle, we wanna recognize flight ASAP. When that ball happens to be out here a little bit, it's footwork catch throw. Okay, so if you throw the ball out here, my whole action would be here. And okay, now once again, it's all about plant like It's here, catch is made, drive happens, and continuation goes. If you get a ball that's way out here, I'm not gonna take myself into the runner and get myself hurt. I'm gonna basically cut the angle like a hockey goalie cut the angle, and I'll make the play right here, and I still got a bag here. Okay, they still got a bag to slide into. Now once I throw the ball, I'll leave the ground a little bit, so if they do slide into me, okay, I'm not planted in the ground. Okay, I just topple on top of them. So give the biggest target as possible. If you're a shortstop, the same thing applies from here. Okay, throw the ball anywhere out here, you know, this big parameter that we just drew on that side. And we'll get the out because over here on this side, I'll have recognition of flight. And if it's the first baseman that happens to throw it off to this side, I'll have recognition and drag that foot back there and get an out for you. And the smoother we can be around this bag, you're getting the out call over here. But when we get into here, we're kind of rigid with our actions here. We're start Okay, and it's kind of uh, uh, uh. you're not going to get the out beside the fact that you don't have that same type of quickness flow simplicity okay this will makes it a lot go makes it go pretty well okay all right so we come on over here same thing we're going to flip flop sides here